What's good, everybody? It's your girl, Bab Z here. Very important video for you guys today. Um, and a controversial topic, at always, whenever it comes to anything to do with the Caribbean as a region, there could be a lot of controversy behind it. The U.S. travel advisories for the Caribbean were, were updated last week. And there's been an uproar about it for a few countries. They don't like what the U.S. has said about them. They're upset, yada, 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 yada. I never really understood why people get so upset at the U.S. advisories because basically it's just the United States saying, hey, here are the problems in this country. Here's what you should avoid. Here's what we advise you to do. That is what I think countries should do for their citizens. But, you know, in a world of illogical people, sometimes logic makes no sense, right? So basically the update um, saw some changes and some ch some level changes. So let's go over the level one, which is the exercise normal precautions um, level. Let me put in a little disclaimer, all right? Especially when it comes to swimming, okay? I know there are a lot of you that live in America or live around the world that feel like you're Michael Phelps boat here. Y'all understand? Let me tell you something. My grandmothers always say the sea ain't got no back door, right? Do not go down in the Caribbean and feel you as Michael Phelps down in there. Caribbean water have undercurrents. It is not like a swimming pool that is still. Do not go down there and play the ass. You will drown. It doesn't matter what level swimmer you are. If you don't know the water... You need to stay out of going out far and playing the ass. The Caribbean is the Caribbean Sea, surrounded by the Atlantic Ocean. This makes for a very, very confusing areas. And if you don't know that water, even the skilled, the most skilled fishermen have drowned. Do not go down there and play the ass playing you're going and swimming and you're playing Michael Phelps. Keep your little floating devices on and stay in the shallow end. You hear what I tell you? Put your foot in the sand, get the sun. And don't play the ass. So let's go over the, the level one um, advisories, which is ex exercise normal precautions. This doesn't mean that you're supposed to go down there and get drunk and lay down in the road either, you know. You're supposed to be as diligent as you would be when you are in America or when you are in Canada or where you are in any one of these countries. Don't go in the Caribbean and think it's free up time and you want to play like... Don't play the ass, okay? So we have Anguilla, level one. We have Antigua and Barbuda, level one. We have Aruba, Bonaire, and Curacao at level one. And Barbados at level one. We also have the British Virgin Islands at level one. Dominica at level one. Grenada at level one, all of the French West Indies, so that would be like Guadeloupe, Martinique, and St. Martin. Montserrat is at level one. St. Kitts is at level one. Well, St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Lucia is at level one. St. Martin is at level one, the Dutch side. Uh, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines are at level one. So when you travel to these countries, understand what this means. It still means that things can happen to you. It just means the probability is a lot lower, right? So don't feel that these are places you can just go around and leave your wallet hanging out your back pocket and stuff like you still need to have a level of diligence when you go to these countries. So I just want you to understand that because a lot of you just think like, oh yeah, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going <laughs> to, no, don't do that. Now we have our level two advisories, which is exercise increased caution, right? So first up on the level two um, is the Bahamas. Um, you have to exercise increased caution in the Bahamas due to crime. So the summary is that the majority of crime occurs in New Providence, which is Nassau, and Grand Bahama, Freeport Islands in Nassau, practice increased vigilance in the over-the-hill area south of Shirley Street, where gang-on-gang -gang violence has resulted in high homicide rate, primarily affecting the local population. Violent crimes such as burglaries, armed robberies, and sexual assaults occur in both tourist and non-tourist areas. 
Be vigilant when staying in short-term vacation rental properties where no private security companies have a presence. So understand what that means, right? There are rental properties that you go to that there's a guard, they have a gun and these things. That's where you need to be staying, okay? The $4 a night room where you're in the middle of the hood, don't stay there. That's what that means, okay? Just to make it not clear, because a lot of you, I don't know, you feel like you're invincible when you go to a lot of these countries. Activities involving commercial recreational watercraft, including water tours, are not consistently regulated. Watercraft may be poorly maintained, and some operators may not have safety certifications. Due to these concerns, the U.S. government personnel are not permitted to use independently operated jet ski rentals on New Providence and Paradise Islands. Never swim alone regardless of your age or your level of swimming skills. Keep within your fitness and swimming capabilities. Be aware of weather and water conditions. So they just said that more diplomatically than me. Cause you know, I ain't got no blast in manners, right? I gotta tell you right now. Now, there's a travel advisory for Belize as well. You're not gonna see the map of Belize because Belize is actually kind of kind of further away from the Caribbean. But because I rep for Belize, I'm always gonna rep, we're gonna talk. So Belize is at level two, um, which is exercise increased caution as well, right? And they're saying that the exercise increased caution in Belize is due to crime. Some areas have increased risk, right? So the summary is that violent crimes such as sexual assault, home invasions, armed robberies and murder are common even during daylight hours and in tourist areas. A significant portion of violent crime is gang related. Due to high crime, travelers are advised to exercise caution while traveling to the south side of Belize City. Local police lack the resources and training to respond effectively to serious criminal incidents. Most crimes remain unresolved and unprosecuted. Pay attention to that. That is very important. They're saying that there's not enough resources and the training is not up to par to respond to serious incidents. Pay attention. You hear what I tell you? Let's go over to Cuba. So Cuba is a level two as well. And it's saying to exercise increased caution in Cuba due to demonstrable and sometimes debilitating injuries to members of the diplomatic community resulting in drawdown of embassy staff. Oh God. I Somebody got to come translate that here for me. Come and tell you. I ain't even, that sounds serious, yeah. So the country summary is that numerous U.S. Embassy Havana employees have suffered demonstrable and sometimes debilitating injuries during their service in Havana. Affected individuals have exhibited a range of physical symptoms including ear complaints, hearing loss, dizziness, headaches, fatigue, cognitive issues, visual problems, and difficulty sleeping. We continue to investigate how the health of our diplomats and their family members was severely and permanently damaged. These symptoms occurred in the U.S. diplomatic residence, including a long-term apartment in the Atlantic. The U.S. Embassy in Havana is operating with reduced staffing. Only family members employed by the embassy may accompany U.S. government employees assigned to Cuba. Right? You hear what I say? Pay attention, you know. All right. Next up, we have the Dominican Republic, level two, once again. Um, exercise increased caution in the Dominican Republic due to crime. The summary is that violent crime, including armed robbery, homicide, sexual assault, is a concern throughout the Dominican Republic. The development of a professional tourist police corps institution of a 911 system in many parts of the country and a concentration of resources in resort areas means that these tend to be better policed than urban areas like Santa Domingo. The wide availability of weapons, the use and trade of illicit drugs, and weak criminal justice system contribute to the high level of criminality on the broader scale. Pay attention. You're listening, right? Okay. Next up, we have Trinidad and Tobago, level two. This is one of the countries that kind of tried to push back on the travel advisories. 
I'm going to tell you right now, pay attention to these travel advisories, okay? You know that Trinidad is my second home. I come from Marival, but pay attention to what these people are saying. So they're saying to exercise um, increased caution in Trinidad and Tobago due to crime, terrorism, and kidnapping, right? This is actually real and this is serious, okay? Pay attention to this. Do not travel to Laventille, Beetham, Sea Lots, Cocorite, and the interior of Queens Park, Savannah, in Port of Spain, due to crime. When do you hear cats singing on the Savannah grass? Keep your ass from about there. That's what you got to do. It's not carnival time, right? Don't mind cats in the Savannah grass. Keep your ass from about there. Here you know I tell you. So the summary is that violent crimes such as murder, robbery, assault, sexual assault, home invasion, and kidnapping is common. Gang activity such as narcotics trafficking is common. A significant portion of violent crime is gang related. Okay. Terrorists may attack with little to no warning, targeting tourists, locations, transportation hubs, markets, shopping malls, local government facilities, hotels, clubs, restaurants, places of worship, parks, major sporting and cultural events, educational institutions, airports, and other public areas. So listen to what they're saying. You don't hear about Trinidad terrorism a lot, but you need to understand that there are a lot of Islamic extremists in Trinidad, and a lot of the people who are Islamic extremists in Trinidad are linked to ISIS, okay? So this is something that you will not hear a lot about, but you need to understand. Like, there is a terrorism problem in Trinidad and Tobago, and they are linked to some of the biggest extremist groups in the world. So, yeah, I would pay attention to stuff like that because, you know, wherever you have a high number of terrorists, you have a high number of people that strap bombs to their body and do some crazy shit. So, that is something to take into account. You hear what I tell you? Okay. So next up is the Turks and Caicos, which is also a level two. And over in Turks and Caicos, they're saying to exercise increased caution in the Turk and Caicos islands due to crime. And this is primarily in their capital city areas. So they said that local medical care and criminal investigative capabilities are limited. So what they're saying is that if anything happens to you while you're down there, you know what I mean? There's not a lot of medical and criminal investigative capabilities they're saying resources are limited so you might be out there on your own yeah what I tell you okie dokie now let's get into the level three travel advisories level three this is getting worse now so first up we have cayman islands and the reason that the cayman islands is a level three to reconsider travel because that's what level three means right reconsider your travel yeah what I tell you is because of the COVID related um, restrictions and issues. So this is not an issue when it comes to crime. This is an issue when it comes to health. So this is why they're telling you to reconsider your travel um, because of COVID, okay? Next up, we have Guyana, which is not on the map either because Guyana is actually located physically, geography wise in South America. But because I just rep for Guyana, I can talk about Guyana. Right. So they're saying that Guyana is a level three and to reconsider travel to Guyana. And they're saying to reconsider your travel to Guyana due to crime. So violent crime, including murder and armed robbery, is common, especially at night. Local police often lack the resources to respond effectively to serious criminal incidents. You hear what they're saying? Pay attention to that. You're not invincible. Right. Okay, next up, I was wondering if I should include this or not, but I'm going to include it. It's Jamaica. Um, anyhow, Jamaica is level three and reconsidered travel. Here's what I'm going to say right now. This is the disclaimer I'm putting in. If anybody Jamaican comes in the comments and starts to act a fucking fool and I'm cursing and I haven't cursed yet on this whole entire segment... I want all of you from Team Babsy to tell them where to go because this is what the America is saying. I am reporting on what America is saying. I did not make this advisory. I don't want no problems on my page. I'm giving the information and I'm giving it about the entire Caribbean holistically. 
So I was not going to include this, but I'm going to include it because I, I, I don't see the problem with giving proper information. That's what I'm going to say. If anyone comes in the comments and asks the fool, Team Babsy, handle them because I ain't answering nobody. Hear what I say? Okay, good. Okay, so it says to reconsider travel to Jamaica due to crime. Some areas have increased risk, right? So I'm going to go over the country summary first, right? So it's saying violent crimes such as home invasions, armed robberies, sexual assaults, and homicides are common. Sexual assaults occur frequently, including at all inclusive resorts, right? Ladies, please pay attention to this, okay? Local police lack the resources to respond effectively to serious criminal incidents. Emergency services vary throughout the island. Response times vary throughout the island and are very different from U.S. standards. The homicide rate reported by the government of Jamaica has for several years been amongst the highest in the Western Hemisphere. U.S. government personnel are prohibited from traveling to certain areas, from using public buses, and from driving outside of prescribed areas of Kingston at night, okay? So, here's the real breakdown. I couldn't fit all of what they had broken down onto the screen because it's, it's a very long breakdown. So, it says if you do decide to travel to Jamaica, avoid walking or driving at night. Avoid public buses. Avoid secluded places or situations. Do not physically resist any robbery attempt. Be aware of your surroundings and keep a low profile. So if you do decide to travel to Jamaica, um, avoid walking or driving at night. Avoid public places. Avoid secluded places or situations. Do not physically resist any robbery attempt. Be aware of your surroundings and keep a low profile. Enroll in the Smart Traveler Enrollment Program to receive alerts. Follow the Department of State on Facebook and on Twitter. Review the Country Security Report for Jamaica. Prepare a contingency plan for emergency situations. And it also speaks to visit the CDC page for the latest um, um, health information for Jamaica. So now they give you a more extensive breakdown. They say to avoid certain areas of Clarendon Parish, right? They have these as actually a level four to do not travel at all. So they're saying that violence and shootings occur regularly in some areas of Clarendon Parish. Do not travel to all of Clarendon Parish except passing through Clarendon Parish using the T1 and A2 highways. So do not travel to Clarendon, okay? Okay. It's saying now the areas of Hanover to not travel to, right? Violence and shootings occur regularly in some of these areas in Hanover Parish. Do not travel to Logwood and Orange Bay. They give a breakdown of where you are not to travel in Kingston and St. Andrew Parish. So they're saying violence and shootings occur regularly in some areas of Kingston. Do not travel to Cassava Peace. Downtown Kingston, defined as Mountain View Avenue and Hagley Park Road. I might have pronounced that differently because I know Jamaicans pronounce all these things different. And south of Halfway Tree and Old Hope Roads. Do not travel to downtown Kingston, including Arnett Gardens, Cockburn Gardens, Denham Town, Olympic Gardens, Seaview Gardens, Trench Town, and Tivoli Gardens. Do not travel to Dehaney Park to Grants Pen, to Stan Pipe, to Swallow Field, to Elliston Flats, and to August Town. Okay? Pick sense from nonsense. Now, in Montego Bay, right? They're saying here are the level four areas that you cannot travel to. They're saying that there's a lot of violence and shootings that occur in some of these places in Montego Bay, and you are not to travel to Canterbury, Flankers, Glendevon, Mount Salem, Norwood, Paradise Heights, and Rose Heights. Next up, we have St. Anne's Parish Level 4, and it's saying that there's a lot of shootings and violence, and you must avoid completely going to Steer Town, St. Anne. Right? Got that? Cool. So now they're saying the areas of St. Catherine Parish that you are not to travel to, right? Same reason, violence and shootings, right? So they're including Spanish Town, Central Village, 
and certain areas within Portmore, I would just avoid all, but they're saying Nagohead, Newland, Old Brayton, and Waterford, okay? Next up, we have St. James Parish, where they're saying that you are not to travel to at all. Um, violence and shootings occur regularly in some of these areas. The areas are Cambridge, Spring Mount, and Johns Hill. So in St. James Parish, do not go to Cambridge, Spring Mount, and Johns Hill. And lastly, they have Westmoreland Parish areas that you are not to travel to for the same reason, violence and shooting. Um, uh, the Russia community, the Savannah Lamar, right? Stay away from those areas and stay away from the Whitehall neighborhood east of Negro. Now, like I said, you know, this is what America has stated. If you feel that flankers or Sea View is safe, right? Go and petition to the U.S. government that made this advisory. I am reading to you what they're saying. I did not make this list. Okay? That's all I'm going to say. Team Babsy, if the comments get messy, handle them. Next up, we have level four. Do not travel at all. Right? So they're saying... Under no circumstance are you supposed to be traveling to this country. Venezuela and Haiti are both listed as level four. Do not travel to. I don't think we need to go into any real detail as to why um, that is. Both nations are experiencing extreme civil unrest. Um, you know, Venezuela, we know what the problem is with them. And basically, like, I, that, that's just too long to get into. And in Haiti, we know the conditions and the situations that's going on over there. So we don't need to go into this whole entire breakdown. So these are the travel advisories updated from last week for the Caribbean. If you're looking to plan for your trip Christmas time, I would pay attention to these advisories. You know what I'm saying? Especially if you want to travel with your family and you want to have a good time. I feel like if you are a person who is from these islands that have like a level two and up, you know, if you're from there and you want to go home, that's your decision. I wouldn't go to a level two um, place visiting unless you are like linked into that place. So like I can go to Trinidad. I don't have a problem to go to Trinidad, right? Trinidad is not a problem for me. Um, but for, for, for vacationing, you know, I would prefer to go to, um, you know, one of the level one, um, the Anguilla, Antigua and Barbuda, Aruba, Bonaire, Curacao, Barbados, British Virgin Islands, Dominica, Grenada, all of the French um, islands, Guadeloupe, Martinique and St. Martin, St. Martin, Montserrat, St. Kitts and Nevis, St. Lucia uh, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, you know, those places I can tell you I've personally been, you know, when I go to Barbados, if two o'clock in the morning, I'm hungry and I want to get something to eat, I can go to um, the gas station by myself at night, drive, get food. Nothing is going to happen to me in Barbados just like that. Like the, that's a very safe place. Grenada, extremely safe. I have been lost many times driving around Grenada, I like I've never once felt like my life was in jeopardy. You know, I've been to St. Lucia, I've been to St. Vincent and I've never felt unsafe there. When I when I when I when I've been to the Bahamas, when I've been to you know, the Dominican Republic and when I've been to Trinidad, you you see, you see the difference in the diligence you have to have, you know, like when you're going around and letting people know that you're coming and you're there, they're like, so from even from level one to level two, there's a major difference. So that's just my opinion on all this. You know, like I said, if you have a problem with what's been stated here, I haven't read anything that doesn't seem legit to me. I'll be honest. As someone who is um, the Caribbean governor, this seems fairly accurate. So if this is what America's saying, if I were you and I lived in like Sweden, I would just follow what America has, um, you know, listed. Visit the level one countries, you know, and even when you're there, play safe. And literally the swimming part, I can't reiterate this enough. Do not go to the Caribbean and play Michael Phelps. This is the number one problem really and truly, not even crime. It's 
tourists going to the Caribbean and thinking that they're big time swimmers. You don't know these these waters, these 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 oceans have currents that you don't know anything about. You're not used to swimming in currents. Swimming pool lifeguards are not the same as lifeguards that swim in the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. So do not go down there and play the ass. Anyhow, let me know what you think about this whole segment. I did one of these a couple years back. And I stopped doing them because of the, the back and forth and the cussing and carrying on. But uh, yeah, if anyone acts stupid, handle them. Handle them. Handle them, Team Babsy. Old Horse Association, roll up on them. Anyhow, love you guys. Talk to you soon. Agon. Later. <laughs>